Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is January 9th, and this is your aftermarket update. It has been a few weeks since we sat down together and went through some charts and some trading information. Uh, it has been, of course, we had the holiday season. We took uh, about uh, 10 days off during the holiday season. Uh, before that, we've been working really diligently on several new uh, ideas uh, from a presentation standpoint, a training standpoint, and we are working on getting our up, our indicators upgraded to NinjaTrader 8. So there's been a lot of work uh, going on behind the scenes, which has uh, limited my ability to do the thing that I like to do best, which is talk about trading. So we had a really good opportunity today, a uh, really nice move today, and uh, so I thought we would take this opportunity to go through and uh, kind of show you what it is that we did and why we did it. So having said that, let's get started here. Oh, by the way, hopefully you had a really nice holiday season and you've had a good start uh, to 2018. All right, so let's talk about what CL was doing today. In fact, one of the things that we've noticed here recently um, with the CL is that we've been in a very narrow range. In fact, the 10-day average range for the CL is 86 ticks and the 20-day average range is 83 ticks. So again, very narrow range. And as day traders, obviously, we like the market. We like those markets that will expand, that they'll be moving. We don't care the direction as long as the, the range is expanding and uh, we are getting good price action uh, as a result of that. So if you take a look here at this chart, this is some of the analysis that I went through with our group this morning. This is a 15-minute chart. Uh, one of the things that we talked about, obviously, is that uh, if you take a look back here over the last, uh, this is back into uh, December 27th. So really for the last couple of weeks, you've had a series of higher lows and higher highs, right? And so nice trend line long here. And then of course we drew this trend line coming in here today. You had a little bit of a consolidation zone. Uh, if you go back to this high here on the 4th of January uh, and extend that line across, you could see here that there was a range, a pressure zone, if you will, uh, up in and around this area here in the overnight session in the, uh, right as the market was opening today, the market comes down here into 82 creates the low and then uh, this is actually before the session then as the session opened you had this rally and reversal down into this zone so one of the trades that we took early in the session today is we were short from 62.14 we were looking for uh we were looking for a move down into i think it was 92 to 85 uh that 92 was the eth session open price and so what happened is the market get we get in at 14 it comes down to 02 and we get taken out at break even one of the structural points, though, that I want to show you here today is if you measure this extent, this uh, measured move from here, uh, back here at this high on the 4th, down to the low on the 5th, and you expand out those extensions, uh, you get to this 200% range extension up here all the way at 63.43. So these become targeting zones for any ideas that you would have from a trading perspective. What we talked about today is that shorts were going to be able to be taken, but that the better opportunities would be long today given the fact that we were staying above this trend line and we had created uh, this additional trend line in the overnight session. So again, we did. I just told you we did take a short. That's why we were only had a about a 20, 25 tick target on it. Uh, we weren't looking for a lot, but we were looking for a move down to 92. Ultimately, it got there, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Uh, and once it did, uh, we took an opportunity to get long. And so as you can see here, uh, the market was just up, up and away for the balance of the day, right? So once you broke into this consolidation zone here, 92 is right here. Uh, the bottom of that zone is 88. We actually popped down into 86. I'll show you why that number is important here in just a few minutes. And then, of course, we broke out of this uh, range here and got pretty close, right? We hit the 1.27% range extension. The 161.8 uh, is where the market is kind of rotating around. And again, that is the measurement of this formation, right? That is the measured move of this formation here. It gives you a target to 63.34, and uh, we got up to 63.24, so that's pretty close. All right, so let's take a look at the charts that we actually traded from today. And uh, first thing I want you to notice here, again, uh, the reason that we were short off of this uh, 14 area, I'm going to turn off. These are your dynamic support resistance zones. Right. These are the overnight levels that we look at. These are your market maker level overnight uh, levels. Market rallies up gives you right here at the open, just right here, right around the open at 815. It gives you a nice reversal pattern. Bullish bar up, big heavy bar down into a known 
uh, support slash resistance area. Ended up getting short here at 14. We were looking to carry it down into this 92, and I get I get trail stopped after it spiked down to 02, which was right here. It rallies back up. My stop was at break even. It goes to 15, and then on down into that area. All right, so that is one idea that we had today. The other idea that we were looking at here uh, is we were in a little bit of a consolidation triangle. So if you just draw this like that, right? That's a trend line here. And then you grab this bottom here. Of course, you have a consolidation zone that we spent a lot of time in. The other thing that we talked about uh, fairly that was fairly significant today, and I'll draw this. Uh, let's go to rectangle. And if you take, well, if you take this low, okay, Take that low up into this high that gives you uh, a range in that area and kind of the halfway point between that range today, and I'm going to draw this horizontal line across it here, uh, was right here at about 85, 86. Okay, that's about the halfway point. And you can see the number of bars that just kind of rotated in and around that. And then, of course, the market comes right down and spikes down into this zone here. And then that's when we begin uh, the day's rally. And so what we did is we got long off of one of our overnight levels here. Whoops. Sorry about that. We got long off of one of our overnight levels, which was at 89. Okay. Well, this is just having a hard time. Right here at 89, market structure signal. So what we were looking for at the market structure signal is to get to this targeting area. Then we said we'd wait and see uh, what would happen once we got here but that if all heck broke loose, you could come up to this uh, market structure extension two, which is at 62, 63. So we held on for that. We also had our daily structure idea that we said that the market could rally as high as 62, 84. Now, if you keep in mind with the additional study that I just showed you, uh, you had 91, 52, 91, and then the potential area all the way up to 63, 34. So 52 and 91, you had the daily structure signal up here at 47, and then you had this idea up here at 84. So we get in long actually today uh, off of this, off of one of our overnight levels, which we call the market structure signal, and that was at 89. The market comes down to 86, gives us about three ticks of heat, and then of course the market continues the rally all day. And so we talked about this market structure extension too, and we also talked about reaching out to this daily structure target, and what is what was a really good trade today could have been could have actually been even better in fact uh, what happens is i end up taking my trade off at 50 ticks times two lots up here at this uh, right up here at this extension one ms extension one at 39 market rallies up to 50 comes back down to it uh, comes back down to like 33 34 so rallied up into here comes back down into 37 i got taken out and you'll see that on the video at 39 and then of course we would have gone all the way up to what our eventual uh, 100 tick target would have been so really had a considering the fact that we were in this very narrow range and it looked like it was going to be playing out uh, like most days do uh, or have been recently anyway uh, we bought this low down here at this market structure signal and that was three ticks uh, higher than the low of the RTH session. So all in all, it was a really good uh, trade today. So what I like to do, it's been a while since I've done this, so let me explain again what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you watch this uh, trade of the day video. I'm going to let you uh, hear me get into the trade. Uh, then I will speed it up. I'll put a little music behind it, and then uh, you'll be able to see uh, what this trade looked like. It was Gosh, it was over an hour that I ended up being in this trade today. So I'm condensing it into about two minutes. So I'm going to speed the tape up. I just want you to get a feel for where it is that we got into it. Again, this is the recording from the live trading room. I just want, to get, want you to get a sense of what it was like once we got into it. I will speed it up, chop it down, speed it up, and then uh, let you watch it uh, from the beginning and then all the way into the final where we get taken out at plus 50 ticks. So been a while since we've done this so hopefully you remember how it goes and so without further ado here is that otg trade of the day 436 on the bid at 90 i'm a little concerned about that there was hit but no fill hit but no fill at 89 sitting on top of 89 hit but no fill 
Okay, I'm in at 89. Stop is 78. 